Good morning, this is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps. Um, I've just swept this chimney and um, I'm going to do a quick video on this fireplace. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I get asked this question a lot. I've been doing this job 23 years now and I get asked this question all the time when, I'm, when people are just burning wood only in their fires. And basically what it is, is like um, a lot of customers they empty the ash out every time they're using their fires. And it's the wrong thing to do. As you can see with this customer, he's got a grate in the fireplace. Obviously, I've, as I said, I've just swept it. There's a little bit of soot there uh, that needs hoovering up. But you can imagine there was it was full of soot. So I've hoovered it all out. There's a little bit of sort of charcoal. Where's my finger? There it is, just in the corner there. Um, but apart from that, um, I've, I've uh, shaped it all up again. I've left the ash in there. It's got a nice thick ash bed. I say to my customers, always let the ash build up underneath the grate. It's so important to do that. You don't want any air going underneath at all. If you look underneath there, there is no air going at all underneath the grate whatsoever. It is so important that you do this because what you'll find is this, this appliance will become so heat efficient that you'll, you'll end up burning probably quarter the amount of wood that you would do is if you empty the ash out every time you use the fire. I have it, I go around people's houses so many times and I have it all the time that they do this sort of thing. So the, the thing that I always say to people is let the ash build up underneath. What you wanna do is you basically, what you want to do is you wanna let the ash build up right under, right above, so it's above the grate. So it's, it's, you know, don't try and um, get it out. Just let it build up right above the grate, and then you can get like a, like a, like a, uh, a trowel and just scoop it out and take it out. And, the, and but always leave it like this. So look at that. That's how you want to leave it, and you want to leave the ash underneath there, so there's no way any air can circulate underneath there at all. Um, and if you do that, you, you'll find that your fire burns really efficiently. And then obviously you get your paper and you screw it up into balls. I always say to people, don't tie it up too much because realistically you want to get the fire going as quick as possible. Because the, reason, the main reason why you want to get the fire going as quick as possible is not uh, so that the fire is burning as quick as possible. You want it burning. You want the flu getting warm as quick as possible because the, the quicker the flue is warm the quicker that the smoke goes straight up the chimney and you won't have any tunnel building up in the chimney at all so like uh, you get your kindling you put it on top of your wood some this customer he likes to put fire lighters in there so he put, put one in there and then i think he's got two here put another one in the corner here put another fire lighter in and um, then put his kindling back obviously it's nice always to put it back as the customer has it and then put your logs in put your logs in just give them a tap because obviously um, they shouldn't have any soot on them There's a couple of them have got soot sort on of where i've actually just been putting the um, putting the hold in the nozzle of the hoover into position so and then basically you just put them like that in there like that stick that in there like that and then you put one across there like the front there and then that's it and there you go you've got one fire ready to go oh, oh, I found another one I'll stick that right down at the back there as you can see and that's it that fireplace is ready to go so basically all the customers got to do is line that piece of paper there and then off it goes but as I said the really important thing with these is let the ash build up don't empty the ash out people have this this i don't know why they have this thing that they always have to empty the ash out every time they use a fire in the old days these grates i mean i know they're designed for wood now but they they weren't originally in uh, they were actually designed the grates were actually designed for coal they weren't designed for wood at all they were actually in the old days they used to just have an ash bed on the on the base of the fire and then they used to have the fires on top and what you'll find is the ash will become uh, warm ambers in there and you'll find that you've got a couple of logs on before you go to bed 
obviously put a fire guard in front of it so there's no risk of a fire and make sure you've got a carbon monoxide detector and a smoke detector and, and then what you'll find is that it would be, be still warm in the morning where you can come downstairs put a couple more logs on and away you go for the rest of the day but I have really can't stress this enough don't empty the ash out let the ash build up it will, it will stay in position you can even compress it down you go along along like, like that if you're worried about it going everywhere if you open the door you can press it down like that and you'll find that it compresses down and it'll go it won't go rock hard but it'll go in It'll go a lot harder and it won't be dust anymore. And then that'll be it. And that's what you do. And that is the perfect fire for a wood burner. And this, this fire will go on for a long time. And remember, the more paper and kindling that you put on, the quicker the chimney will warm up. And, the, and then all of a sudden, the, the, the uh, smoke will just go straight out the top. And the warmer the chimney is, the greater the pull on the, on the chimney and the less soot that will build up on the, on, the, on the chimney itself. That's why they say with a lot of wood burners that they don't really need sweeping if you have them on all the time. Because um, the only reason why you get a build up of soot in a, in a fireplace or a wood burner is basically because it's a cold chimney and the smoke really struggles to go up the chimney. That's why if you go on my page you'll find that there's, there's videos on there why is my wood burner not drawing why is my open fire not drawing and 99% of the time it's down to that there are cold chimneys but this fireplace is ready to go I'm just going to hoover that all up make it all nice and tidy for the customer and then that's the job done have a lovely day from Zachary Sweeps